windows here. Well, that took long enough. Let him in! Quit messing with my head, Faker! What? First you drag me into this mess, then you call me names? How dare you! I... forgive me. She's stern in her own way, but it's just not the same. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. So, the real one still isn't back yet? No. Musée is looking for her, but... I see. Hey, how come Mr. Rideau is wearing those funny glasses? He's hiding some fancy footwork. Old Julius stomped his face pretty good before he made his escape. <laughs> I want to see! It's pretty funny! Let's get this show on the road. Uh, your wish is my command, sir! Dear Julius was last spotted here at the Sea Haven. Split up and root him out. All right, then. We'll take the western side of the trail. Well, in that case, I guess we'll search him out. Just like old times! And we'll check the sea routes. Have room for one more. <laughs> what? Why? I'm interested in the work you agents do. Curiosity killed the cat and king. I'll risk it. Just my luck getting stuck with these guys. I want Julius taken alive, understood? I need to return his hospitality. This is the town where I lived when I was a child. Pretty sure you're still a child. Why do you think Glasses Guy ran away? He must have had a reason. I would never do such a thing. Muse. Mila! Or not. But who might you be? Uh, I'm the former Maxwell. Pleased to meet you. Beg your pardon? Alternate dimensions. The land of Canaan. Does that ring any bells? Perhaps. Well, if it isn't that floating porridge thief! Who, Musée? What can I say? I was getting pretty hungry. Wait, so spirits can get hungry? Honestly? No. But Mila taught me the pleasure of eating a good meal. You did, huh? <sighs> that wasn't me. An unauthorized agent's entered a fractured dimension. We think it's Julius Kresnik. The probability of this dimension containing a way marker strikes us as very high. Luger, let's go after him! Not so fast, children. I'm pretty sure that Julius Fellow is expecting you. Even so, we're not about to pass up this chance. In that case, Luger, would it be an imposition to take me along? I want to keep my eye on this one. If she's like my Mila, she's reckless. I don't need a babysitter. One more weirdo's joining the crew, Rolo. Hey, if she's a friend of yours, then one of you needs to pay up. Muse, shouldn't you pay Luger back for the money you cost him? Are you reprimanding me? What an adorably impudent child you are! Wow, you really have changed. I'm barely scared of you at all anymore. 
What a horrible thing to say. I've never been scary. Did you see it? Did you see that linked art just now? That felt absolutely wonderful. Have you gotten used to me? You don't look at me with the same wide-eyed wonder that you used to. Here's a reward for being such a good boy. Not that I mind being looked at that way. <laughs> hmm. Have you put on more muscle? Like, right here and right there. <laughs> yes, you've definitely filled out a bit. It's a good look for you. See how closely I've got my eye on you? <laughs> I understand precious little of the way humans view the world. But the time we've spent together has made it clear to me that you don't dislike me. I'm in a good mood today, so I'll give you this. If you asked me if I like you or dislike you, I'd have to go with like. <laughs> Lately, being near you has made me feel all light and floaty. It's a warm and ticklish feeling. I didn't even know that I could feel like this. If I had never met you, I bet I'd never know this feeling at all. Luger, I'm only going to say this once. For being with me. For looking at me the way you do. Thank you. She has butterfly wings. Aren't they great? But I'm not a bug, you know that? You're a spirit, just like Mila's big sister. She's not like her at all. My sister had an awe-inspiring presence. My, aren't you rude? I'll have you know that I used to be quite awe-inspiring. I don't know if that's the word I would use. She used to be a psychopath. <laughs> oh my, Luger. Are you hitting on me? You're hitting on her? Huh? Calm down. She's obviously joking. Of course I was, but isn't that how all the best romances begin? How would I know? <laughs> that was a joke, too. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Come to think of it. I like the way Muse is now, too. So this is a fractured dimension. I wonder if the light spirit climb here is different. There are monsters here who camouflage themselves as rocks. Best stay on your toes. You sure know a lot about monsters. Naturally. I do everything I can to stay away from them. I don't get why you insist on bringing the child with you. <clears throat> I wonder. Perhaps humans are at their best when they have someone to protect. Is that how it was with you too? Hmm. Who knows? I'm not human. Right. But I do know I don't want to be alone anymore. Indeed. Wait, where do you think you're going? He's just as bad as a little girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, aren't you the happy little fugitive? Just humming the day away. It's an old family tune. A real blast from the past. It's called the Hymn of Proof. It's supposed to be about longing to see someone. Here's my brother. I guess it works. No, you always did. Even when you were in diapers. I could just hum a few bars and you'd shut right up. Do you remember that camping trip back when we were kids? You know, the one where we got lost in the mountains? The poison oak, that grizzly bear, and then that huge thunderstorm. But as soon as I hummed this song, you stopped scratching at yourself and started walking. I offered to carry you, but you stomped your feet and yelled, No, I can do it! We hoofed it all night until we finally reached that village. But my throat hurt worse than my feet after all that humming. Brotherly love's not why you led us here. Let's get down to business. You can keep the pocket watch. My priorities have changed. I want that girl, Elle. She has a father. If you refuse, I'll have to take her by force. Level with me here. Why do you keep Elle around anyway? Enough of Canaan! That path will only lead to our ruin! You know something we don't, perhaps? I know the cruelty of Origin's trial! I swear to you, I'm only doing this because you mean so much! in trouble. The catalyst. <laughs> that monster over there used some weird spirit art on L. Yeah, and healing arts aren't doing squat. That's a stigma art. Look out. It's gone! What's a stigma art? It's a spirit art that slowly corrupts one's life force. The only way to counter it is to eliminate the channeler. The channeler? You mean that monster? Yes, the Seafall Phantom. Wait, that's one of the way markers. They're fortunately extinct in our dimension. They attack their prey on scene with stigma arts. When the prey stops moving, the beast drinks it dry. Be strong! You can't give up, or Bunnykins won't come for a visit. But if you can hold on for a bit longer, I promise I'll bring him to see you. Elise, if you keep straining your manalope, you'll die along with her. But I... I made her a promise. Yeah, she promised her, and promises are important! Keep it up, and both of you are goners! <sighs> Luger. If she's important, then see her through this. Even if it means your life. What do you think you're doing? Aren't we in enough trouble right now without looking for more? I'm luring the monster right to us. Be ready to take it down. Do not hesitate. Act or lose what you love. You embody that. Now! Ah! Ah! You have no 
time to waste. Yes, let's hurry. I can't let you use it. Leave it to me, although you may want to get out of the way. It's not over. We need to finish it off. Before it's too late for Al! What a relief. How'd you get two? Luger got one, and Julius gave his back to us. Elise, how come you were yelling at me so much? Sorry about that. I was just trying to encourage you. I guess that makes sense. Well, anyway, thank you. The kid's not a brat after all! Of course not! Shut up, Tipo! Bunnykins doesn't have time for brats. Everybody knows that. <laughs> well, traveling with you really toughens the girl up. Even the string bean over here is starting to look a little brawnier, wouldn't you say? Worried about your brother, I take it? You must believe in him. I'm envious. to Laron Seahaven and Drallin. In fact, I'm just about to head out to Drallin on a little business myself. What kind of business? A oh, different kind. I'm a mighty busy girl. Hassling you isn't my only job, you know. I feel ya. I've got a lot going on, too. <sighs> How come the ocean's blue? Because it's always in a sad mood. <laughs> hey, guess what? If you douse your napple in soy sauce, 
It tastes a little bit like sea urchin. Hey, guess what? You have two cowlicks in the back of your head. I notice it every time I float over you. Hey, guess what? I shed my wings and grow a new set every season. <laughs> but don't tell anyone else, okay? I'm serious. Direct tether? <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I'll pass. Everyone is staring. I'm starting to worry their gazes are going to burn a hole straight through me. <laughs> well, you do stand out of it. We sure have brought down a lot of these elite monsters. Yeah, the first time I laid eyes on one, I thought we were doomed. But somehow we did it! I, for one, don't like them one bit. They're so big and disgusting. They're elite gross! You know, if you were that size, you'd be pretty gross too. How did this become about me? That isn't true at all. It is true. It's elite true. Oh yeah? Well, you're an elite jerk. This is flying out of control fast, Luger. Like, way out of control. Time to step in? Great point! Did you guys hear what Luger just said? The teamwork was hardly necessary. Elite monsters are on the level of something you'd hunt alone as a training exercise. Yes, well, you're special, so stay out of this. I will not. I have more to say. Tipo, if you were the size of a house, you would be all the more adorable. A Tipo house?! I've never thought of that before. Oh, wow. A soft, squishy house like that? That's so cute. I would totally live there. Elise, Tipo, I was mistaken. I am so sorry. I accept your apology. Matter decisively resolved. That Gaius. Did he intend this outcome all along? <laughs> <laughs> 